guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 pets that I really want to have in the future. They're kind of like my wish list pets, I guess. The ones that are really high up there that one day I want to keep, but can't for whatever reason. So yeah, this was a recommended video over on Instagram. So thank you for that. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, for starters, so most of you guys know that I like to keep snails. That's why most of you are here. So of course, the first thing on this list is giant African land snails. What I would give to keep a giant African land snail. And let me tell you that I was broken hearted when I found out they're illegal in the US, so. The only reason I don't have one is because they're illegal here. But hopefully one day that will be taken down and I can own one, that would be great. I'm sorry if I mispronounced these, but the three top species I want are Agitina reticulatus. I really want one of those. Agitina agitina, or also known as the tiger giant land snail, or Arch agitina marginata. So those would be the, the three that I would want probably the most. I have, obviously haven't done too much research on them because um, I can't keep them, but those are the species that if I could, I would have. And yes, I've considered moving countries for this. It's just so expensive. So number two on my list are frilled neck lizards, also known as frilled dragons. They are my absolute favorite lizard and as most animals, you can keep them. And I'm very excited for this because I know that probably once I get a reptile room up and running, I will finally have space for an enclosure for one. Because it's really, that's the only thing keeping me from getting one is just the space. Um, I have enough to like feed it and everything. I know how to take care of them. I just don't have the room at the moment. But in the future, in the future, you better believe I'm getting one. Um, for anyone interested, they are native to Australia and aren't the most handleable species out there. Not necessarily a beginner, although I think they could probably be pretty easy. They just have like a terrible temperament from what I hear. Um, I probably won't handle mine, at least not often, um, because it'll probably end up being more of a display animal, but we'll see. If I happen to get one that has a great temperament, maybe it'll become an education animal. Number three is probably one of the dumbest on the list. Um, I really want to have pigeons, like really bad. I really want to have pigeons. Uh, my fiance really wants to have pigeons. It's like the one bird species I would be pretty okay with keeping and pretty confident in keeping. I have a couple barriers of getting pigeons and me and my fiance have both decided one day we probably will have pigeons. Um, probably not anytime soon. I feel like I would want to have an entire room for them um, because I do have cats. One of my dogs and two of my cats have extremely high prey drive and I just feel like it wouldn't end well. So I would definitely want it to have its own like room like it's really secure or maybe one day when we don't have uh, these nuggets that we might consider. But right now we don't have the space, we don't have a spare bedroom for that. so. Number four is a pretty generic pet, I feel like, in the US, and that's ferrets. I adore ferrets. I love them. We had ferrets whenever I was a kid, and I just resonate with ferrets. So I really want to have ferrets again. Again, I don't have the space for ferrets right now. I have these little monsters to watch. I don't have the money for ferrets at the moment. And I don't have the space for ferrets at the moment. So I don't think ferrets will be happening in the near future, but one day I will own ferrets, I hope. So number five is not a generic one and is kind of considered to be more of an outrageous one that a lot of people look at me really weird when I say, one day I would love a dwarf caiman. So dwarf caimans are small crocodilians from South America and I really like them. Not just because they're cool, I just like them as a species. They're very interesting. Um, I will not have a dwarf caiman until I own my property, obviously. So females, I believe, get around four feet and I think males get five to six feet, if I remember right. Um, so they're pretty big still, like, and they're crocodilians. They can't just have like a little enclosure, you know? 
I want to go all out when I get a crocodilian. And what I want to do, hopefully in this house, I'm, I'm really hoping that we eventually buy this property. Um, I would love to set up an outdoor like shed, a really secure like shed kind of. Um, and have it heated, of course, have electricity and all that. And then in the summertime, have it to where he can go in and out of that shed. It'll have like a say, really secure fenced in area with like a pool for him. And then on the inside, when it's winter, we can close it up. And on the inside, he'll have like basking, UVB and all of that, of course. And also a pool. I just think it'd be really cool. It would be really expensive and it would be a lot of upkeep. But oh my god, I would love that. I would love the upkeep of it. Like, I really like animal chores, I guess. So I, I would live for that. So one day. So the next animal on this list is a cane toad. Not super generic, but I feel like it's predictable. I really like cane toads. I like amphibians, like frogs and toads anyway. But cane toads are just so chunky. Like cane toads, just cane toads, right? Have you ever seen a cane toad? You ever see one of those? Come on now, they're cane toads. Cane toads are just like, just, I, I want one so bad. I want one so bad. Cane toads are from Southern and Central America. And yes, they are considered poisonous, but I don't plan on licking this toad or anything like that. So should be fine. Um, they're not like always poisonous. I don't know how to work this. Like their skin's not constantly poisonous. It's when they're really stressed out or feel like they're under a threat, they will secrete a poison from their glands, like the glands up here. I don't know what I'm doing up here. You know, like on a toad. The glands behind the eyeballs, those secretes them from those. Um, but once again, I don't plan on licking it. I, I always wash my hands after I hold my pets, and I don't plan on having any of my other animals interact with it, so that shouldn't be a problem. But, like, look at a cane toad and tell me they aren't just like the best things to exist. Like, they're big toads and they just look so grumpy and I just really want one. Once again, the thing keeping me back from a cane toad would be the size. Um, I, I mean, it's very doable, but right now I'm in the middle of upgrades and hoping that my upgrades will fit in that bedroom until we can get those two back rooms renovated. Because we will, this is a three bedroom house. But two of the rooms are both being occupied. So number seven would be a Burmese python because I love them. There's not much to say here. I feel like if you're in the reptile community, you know what a Burmese python is. They're fairly common in the pet trade. I just want one and I would want to give it a very large like space to live. Um, I feel like our enclosure standards for large snake species isn't the best. So I would want to give it what I see fit and um, I cannot do that. I don't know if I'll ever really be able to do that. But one day, I would love a berm. Number eight's a bit odd and I don't even know if this one will last. But I like low key kind of want to keep bees. Again, I don't know if this is actually something I want to do. It's just the past um, like three years, I've really wanted to try to keep bees. Um, it probably won't happen. Uh, my fiance is super on board with beekeeping. She really wants to do it. So like maybe one day it will happen, but I honestly highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's really random and really weird. I just have the urge to try to keep bees. I don't know why. I like know nothing about it either. Like I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe one day I'll keep bees, but uh, as of right now, probably not. But it would be cool if I had like the resources and the knowledge to keep bees and the space to keep bees. I'd try it. As long as I had someone that would be willing to take them off my hands if it turned out that I couldn't do it, I would try it. But that they're like a dream animal for a reason. Because I don't think it's realistic for, for me to keep bees. I don't know why I'm trying to explain myself so heavily to you, but like... I feel like I get weird looks when I talk about the animals I want. 
but some of them are really generic and the other ones are like weird and then the other ones are like just outrageous like it's like yeah i want to keep ferrets bees and a caiman Number nine is a massive want for me, farm animals. Hear me out. Not like horses. I don't know, I don't think I could ever keep horses, but I'm talking like pig, cows, chickens, goats, turkeys, that kind of stuff. I want it. Um, hopefully in the like pretty near future, past after winter is over, we will be getting a couple of these things that I just listed. I'm not really gonna reveal it yet. But, um, yeah, we are going to have a, a type of farm animal. I hope that one day we'll have another one at least, but that's to be determined. Again, that's going to have to wait because I want to own my property before I do anything like that, obviously. So, number 10 would be tortoise. So, like, I really want to keep a tortoise. I have a couple of problems with keeping a tortoise. One is the space, and the other one is it almost scares me to have an animal that will outlive me and i want to still caught a tortoise so odds are it's going to outlive me so i might get a tortoise one day but that probably won't be for a long time unless it just kind of falls in my lap i guess and i have the space to keep it but as of right now i don't really have the space to keep it those are just some of the pets that i really want but are not obtainable at least at the moment yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me that you guys stick around. And as always, like this video for the algorithm. Leave a comment down below. And let me know if you have any other video ideas. I'm thinking of doing um, a list that's like the same, but animals I don't ever want to keep. And subscribe if you're into this kind of content. I upload every single Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye!